I'm going to say it, guys. I'm just going to come out and say it. I mean, I don't know. Just Temporal Forces and Twilight Masquerade is hot trash. It's honestly like it's garbage, in my opinion. I, just hear me out. Hear me out. So um, there's a few good cards in here. I just want to I want to get this. I got to get this off my chest. Morty's Conviction. Cool card. Um, I don't know. Like a lot of these are being pumped. And then a lot of these are high for like playability because they're in the meta and whatever. I get that. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just talking from a pure collector standpoint. Also with some like Gen One through Three biasy. Um, so keep that in mind. But um, let's just run this down real quick. Um, cool card. I actually really like this artwork. Nothing wrong with this card. But like every other card in this set, like I I can appreciate the artwork for what it is. But these Pokemon like. Who wants this Raikou thing? Like, and like the Walking Wake. Like, who cares? Now, I understand that there's some people that are gonna care about these Pokemon, but I, you guys are in the minority. Um, like, I mean, come on. I mean, like, I, I get that the art. Like, I understand the artwork. Like, it's nice artwork, but if the Pokemon isn't good, then it's trash. So these are the top cards on TCG Player. Um, I like the Ghastly. I think it's cool. We got the Haunter, the Gengar. It's cool. Um, this one's okay. Like these golds. Like now, honestly, like as a set, honestly, hot trash. Uh, it's this is weak. There's been some weak sets in Scarlet and Violet, but I think this like some of the earlier Scarlet and Violet stuff. I think is better um let's just take a look at people are buying this though so you know correct me if i'm wrong let me know in the comments you can see just as of today how many booster boxes have sold right here uh this is tcg player um so obviously people are buying it and i mean you know i get it's fun to open the new set chase the cards i, I understand that but i just mean like long term this is trash this is trash let's go to the next piece of trash so Twilight Masquerade, this is what's coming out. This is the next set, um, Scarlet and Violet set with the booster box. Um, we're just we're right in the, the the illustration rares here. Skipped all the basic cards. Pinsir, this is cool. I like this. this. is okay. Who cares about this Pokemon, honestly? And like, so once again, artworks are good. It's just some of the Pokemon. Like, you got to give us a little. So like, like. I mean, this one's cool. Like, these are all cool. It's just, we need... And, like, Infernape, like... This one's cool. Like, but honestly, like, come on. Now, this EV card... This EV card's great. Can this carry a set? I don't know. I'll tell you the cards that I like the most, though. Is this, um... The Growlithe, as it connects with... Uh, where is it? Down here. This trainer card, and you can see the Growlithe in the... Like... I like the connecting cards. I like it. Gen 1 Pokemon for me. But like, what what's going on here with the SIRs? Like, what even is this? Look at this. One, two, three. Uh, the Greninja is kind of cool. I know a lot of people don't like the Terra type, like with the crowns and whatever. I'm, I have no problem with the crown. Like, that's, that's not the issue for me. And like, ugh. I mean, this one's okay. Just, then you got some golds, but like, these trainers, nah, I mean, yeah, I don't know, just, and who cares about, the, like, hot take, or whatever you want to call it, this is, hot take is hot trash, um, I do think that there's going to be some absolute fire for Scarlet and Violet coming up, um, can you take a look at some of the basic arts here and see if anything stands out to me, um, but, there's they're gonna in the second half which is starting to get into the second half unfortunately with this set but it's they're gonna they're gonna revert back to some of these you know more mainstream pokemon um this alakazam's cool um and it's gonna happen but we're just not there yet and honestly like this makes me appreciate like scarlet and violet base more paldea like some of the other sets just a little bit more um even obsidian flames like i know you guys are like you know it's charizard heavy and whatever but for me personally i mean you know i might be a little older 
so I have the Gen 1 biasy. But, I mean, this is just, I mean, let's take a look. Like, there's nothing appealing about this set. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, even just the box, like. But, let's take a look on TCG Player. People are buying it. Look, look at all these sales. Like, these are pre-orders, and they might be a little high. This person got a better deal. They bought a case, six boxes for 90. That's better. But, like. I wouldn't even pay these prices. If I wanted to rip this, I would just wait, pick them up somewhere else, like eBay, TikTok deals, TCG player will probably drop after release. Um, I mean, already look at this. So look at the chart already. They started at 132, couldn't sell, couldn't sell, couldn't sell, couldn't sell. It's on a, it's on a decline. Who's buying these boxes at this price? Like, this is not a good set. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to like, try to be positive overall, but like, honestly... I mean, you can see temporal prices, they started same thing, like 142 for the pre-orders, and it just got a little bit of rebound, but I don't, I don't like them. I'm just saying that they're going to, like 151 is great, Scarlet and Violet I think is going to be good, we just need some banger sets at the end, but I just wanted to, just wanted to get that out there, just hot take, these sets are garbage and we need help, please, please help us, that's a that's all I have to say.